So Shanae came to us uh, right after um, there was a hurricane down in Louisiana. She had been down there with her boyfriend, had a couple of kids and was struggling. And one day he didn't come home and she didn't know what to do. And after a few days, um, she found out that he was in Texas. And so she sold what her, her things and she packed up her two kids and came, to, came here looking for him and didn't know what to do. Um, and then she had a sick feeling in her stomach that something wasn't quite right and turned out that she thought she might be pregnant. So a friend said, let me take you over to Life Choices. They're gonna do a free pregnancy test for you and offer you resources. And so she came in thinking that she really needed to abort this baby. She already had two and the father of the children was not in the picture anymore and she didn't know what was going on. And she came in and we did the free pregnancy test and we showed her the ultrasound. By seeing the ultrasound, she was able to see that baby and she chose life. And um, so she's been working with us now faithfully to get uh, material assistance, to get education. She is up on her own two feet. She's taking care of her three children. The father of the, of the children is involved, although they're not together. But she has turned her entire life around because of the resources that she got here. One of the biggest needs that we have in our community is providing good quality health care to our women. Um, they have a very difficult time finding good health care and if they're pregnant, that is an even bigger problem. And so we fill that need by offering them free pregnancy testing and ultrasounds, material assistance, medical care, uh, OB care, and, and education. So we really have a, a well-rounded um, program here where we feel, fill a lot of the needs that are in the community because finding a place where these women can go that will be safe, and where they are taken care of is, is very important. We are meeting the need in the community by making ourselves available to them. Uh, we're out and, and uh, just doing what we can to attract the women and the men uh, because men are part of the problem too, part of the solution. And so we wanna be sure that our men are getting the care that they need as well as our women. So by being out in the community, they have an opportunity to find us, to see us. And I will go out to the churches and talk to the churches about what's going on. We'll talk to the youth groups and let them know that there are alternatives for them. And just make sure that everybody knows that they have a safe, good place to go to get the services that they're looking for. So you may be wondering how you can be involved with Life Choices Medical Clinic. There are a number of ways to help out. Um, we're always looking for spiritual counselors to come in and pray with our women and our men. We need nurses and, and um, uh, other people to come in and just be a part of the clinic. We're always looking for financial support. Diapers are huge. Uh, sixes, size sixes, fives. We never can keep those in stock. So there are multiple ways for you to get involved with us so that we can continue doing the great work that God has called us to do. I'm Steve Branson, pastor at Village Parkway Baptist Church and a sponsor of Life Choices Medical Center. I've been involved with them for over 23 years now and it's one of the most effective ministries that there is to young women here in the community. They provide complete health care, they provide pregnancy counseling, they provide all kinds of services to be with the young ladies. And I'm not seeing anyone more effective at it than life choices and so we support them strongly and are glad to be a part of all that they do.